are less than three weeks away from the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. And tonight, the road to SummerSlam makes a pit stop in the Windy City as we approach the All-State Arena live from Chicago, Illinois. And right here from Chi-Town, hometown superstars are in the house, including the 2024 Women's Money in the Bank ladder match winner, Cora Jade returns home for a very interesting meeting, a non-title clash with the WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare, Rhea Bloody Ripley. And in your main event, it is a Second City Saint homecoming as the WWE Champion CM Punk is in action to complete this trilogy with Big Brunson Reed that has progressed throughout the month of July. It is Punk Reed with so much writing later tonight here on Raw. We welcome you to Monday Night Raw inside the All-State Arena less than three weeks before our trip to Detroit, Michigan at Ford Field for SummerSlam. And we kick things off tonight. No better, no one more phenomenal than AJ Styles and the OC in tow. Representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, AJ Styles has found himself in rebuild mode over the last few months on Raw. Losing his United States Championship on SmackDown. The OC drafted to the red brand. Styles challenging for the Intercontinental title a few months back. A matchup that did not go his way. And ever since then, AJ Styles has been trying to climb up the ranks here on Monday Night Raw. But he has certainly got a tall task ahead of him tonight. As he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Megastar. Oh, wait a minute, Die Jack! Die Jack from behind. The issues between these two superstars well documented. And remember what happened last week. LA Knight costing Die Jack his matchup against Big Bronson Reed. All the events stemming out of Money in the Bank a few weeks ago. Well, Die Jack trying to get a measure of revenge after last week, sending LA Knight right to those diamond plated steps and soften him up for AJ Styles. Well, nonetheless, sneak attack by Dijak. Obviously, unfinished business between those two superstars, and AJ Styles looking to make the most advantage of it. We welcome you to Monday Night Raw once again. We are live tonight from a sold-out All-State Arena in the second city, the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, less than three weeks away from SummerSlam, and of course, approaching a special Saturday night's main event this Saturday, live from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Right now, LA Knight just trying to mount some offense in this matchup at the Rio's jump from behind by Dijak and sent right into the wolves of the OC and most importantly, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, LA Knight's first match back in action since falling short to Dijak back at Money in the Bank. Of course, we took a look at those events last week here on Raw and what happened back in London, England. Dijak exposing three out of the four corners of the ring, the turnbuckles, the steel, which LA Knight was met with, and then Dijak knocked him out momentarily to get the three count. An underhanded victory a few months, a few weeks ago, excuse us, that LA Knight has certainly not forgotten about. As LA Knight is finding out right now, his focus cannot be on the man that ambushed him in the aisle way. His focus has got to be on AJ Styles. Calf Crusher locked in as Styles looks to put things away against the Mega Star. Well, as we mentioned, AJ Styles has been on a bit of, bit of a rebuilding road over the last few months on Raw. Ever since falling short in his pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship, Styles has gone back to the drawing board. 
We've seen him pick up some victories over Ashante the Adonis, Cedric Alexander, and now one-on-one -on -one at the Megastar as AJ Styles' summer continues. LA Knight seemingly fighting an uphill battle tonight, trying to shake off the cobwebs with that sneak attack. But it's going to be a great night of action here on Raw. Homecomings for Mrs. Money in the Bank. Tora Jade and the WWE Champion CM Punk also still to come tonight. Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker look to settle the score at the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. They threw out the challenge for a tag team matchup last week. Karrion Cross accepting the challenge, but who will stand alongside Cross in that duo's affair later tonight here in Chicago? All remains to be seen as LA Knight picking up some momentum in your opening bout. LA Knight, as we mentioned, has got to feel frustrated coming out of London, England and following up. Falling short to Dijak back at Money in the Bank. Last week, LA Knight trying to get a measure of revenge, costing Dijak his matchup against Big Brunson Reed here on Raw. And then, of course, as we saw, Dijak jump at LA Knight in the aisle way as he approached this matchup with the phenomenal AJ Styles. LA Knight not trying to rush out to ringside where the OC could have been waiting for him. However, Styles off the reversal, maybe getting the best of a megastar who mentally may not be present styles clash and that's gonna do it aj styles making the most of this opportunity la knight's mine elsewhere aj styles takes advantage and picks up the w Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to switch gears and talk about the news we found out last week. The WWE Championship rematch is signed on for SummerSlam on Saturday night, August 17th. The best in the world, CM Punk, runs it back with the former champion, Kevin Owens. Owens requesting this rematch in Ford Field in Detroit in just a couple of weeks' time. We take a look at what happened three weeks ago at Money in the Bank in the O2 in London, England. Kevin Owens, the man who held the gold since WrestleMania, walking into London, England to defend against the number one contender, CM Punk. CM Punk said time and time again this was not a personal issue. It was strictly business that CM Punk was back to accomplish his top goal, becoming WWE Champion. A hell of a fight with Kevin Owens, but in the end, CM Punk getting his wish and leaving the United Kingdom as the WWE Champion. Well, as for Kevin Owens, he sat down with WWE.com this past Saturday afternoon, and as you can see, after speaking with Kevin Owens about his rematch with CM Punk at SummerSlam, a passionate Owens had this to say. CM Punk says he never had a personal issue with me. It was all business. It was all about the WWE Championship. But what Punk fails to realize is the WWE Championship is personal to me. I worked my entire life for the moment I had in the main event of WrestleMania earlier this year. I scratched and clawed to hold the WWE Championship in my hands. I knew having that title would put a target on my back. And whether it's been CM Punk, The Judgment Day, or anyone else, I have continued to fight. SummerSlam will be no different. It may not be personal to CM Punk, but it is every bit personal to me. On August 17th, I will personally take back the WWE Championship or die trying. Kevin Owens with an emphatic statement on WWE.com, which later that night CM Punk took to Instagram to respond. A picture of Kevin Owens and CM Punk from All-Star Raw back in May. Punk with the following had this to say. What Kevin Owens fails to acknowledge is that I personally chose not to take offense to the disrespect he showed me months ago. Everything I did after that was doing what I had to do to win the WWE title. Owens, you can personally choose to feel how you want, but after I beat you again at SummerSlam, I hope you personally choose to shake my hand and show me some respect. You want to go to war? I'll prove once again why they call me the best 
in the world. CM Punk, of course, alluding to the disrespect when he extended the hand to Kevin Owens and Owens failed to meet him in the middle. No matter what they have to say to one another, it all comes down to the fight. Saturday night, August 17th, CM Punk, Kevin Owens, round two for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. If you're feeling lost, sing this song with me. It will shine your light. I hope that you can say, Sorry, go away. Carry me. And the road to SummerSlam makes a pit stop in the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota this Saturday night for Saturday night's main event. It is going to be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, new women's tag team champions will be crowned this Saturday. But who will clash for that gold? Tonight is night one of our road to finding out. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville set for tag team action as they look to punch their ticket to Minnesota. But opposing them, a pair of former women's tag team champions in their own right. So of course this Friday night on SmackDown we will find out the other half of the field as the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and the Genius of the Sky, Io Sky, as they take on the tough as nails, Zoe Stark, and the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. The winner of that matchup moves on 24 hours later to the Target Center to meet the winner of tonight's contest from Monday Night Raw, whether it be Katana Chance and Kaden Carter, or Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. An interpromotional matchup goes down live this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time from Minneapolis, Minnesota, where we will crown new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. It's certainly a huge opportunity for Katana Chance and Caden Carter tonight. When those championships were temporarily shelved last fall, they were the last holders of that pair of gold. Now Chance and Carter with an opportunity to scratch and claw and get back the championships. And I don't think those two party animals would have it any other way. Certainly have the odds stacked against them, however, tonight. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville have found themselves in the focal point of women's division action for months here on Monday Night Raw, along with the X Factor that is at ringside, Piper Niven. That trio has gone up against some of the best of them. And in recent weeks, Piper Niven has laid waste to Becky Lynch and last week defeated Bailey 1-2-3 here on Monday Night Raw. Now Piper watching over the back of her girls tonight as Katana Chance and Caden Carter look to find a way to outfight the numbers and punch their ticket to Saturday night's main event this weekend. Well, it remains to be seen if they'll be able to do so, and it certainly won't be a lack of talent if they fall short. Katana Chance and Caden Carter so much ability between these two women. Love to take things to the air and certainly not only have a versatile offense, but an innovative one at that. As Katana Chance showing us firsthand, tag made to Caden Carter. Sonya Deville trying to create a little distance, but there may be no running for these two party animals. Piper Niven getting caught up in the mosh pit. Sonya Deville sent back inside the ring. And that trio that I like to call the Mean Girls may be in trouble at the current moment. So to come tonight, oh wait a minute, hold that thought. Sonya Deville stacking up Caden Carter. 
Trying to steal the victory while back was turned. Caden Carter now, reversal, not just yet. As we were about to mention, still to come tonight, Miss Money in the Bank, Cora Jade, in action for the first time since winning the briefcase three weeks ago in London. Returns to her hometown of Chicago. She goes one-on-one -on -one in a non-championship matchup against the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, the current WWE Women's Champion. And oddly enough, and we'll touch on this more a little bit later tonight, this is a matchup that Rhea Ripley actually requested. I don't know everything that's going on there and what's going through the mind of the Nightmare, but Rhea Ripley looking to assert her dominance here tonight against what could be a future contender for her goal. Or remains to be seen what is going to happen later tonight here in the All-State Arena, but right now, a ton of chance getting the rug pulled out from underneath her by Sonya Deville. Chelsea Green yet to see action so far in this matchup, but I believe that time is now as Green and DeVille look for some double team offense. Well, at this time, I want to remind you about the No Nation Gaming Channel memberships that many of you have already taken the most advantage of. Hit the join button down below, receive future access to bonus content as well as a WWE Live event coming your way a week from Saturday, August the 10th, exclusive to channel members. Hit the join button down below. Witness the WWE Champion CM Punk and more in action Saturday night, August the 10th on the road to SummerSlam. And now Chelsea Green just trying to keep the momentum alive for her side of the matchup. But Katana Chance with that dog in her. Taking Chelsea Green off of her. Chance and Carter want to get back the goal that they truly never lost. Jansen Carter, good spirits, understanding what had to be done in order to grow the women's division to a more, more fruitful division. Many a tag team starting to explode on the scene, whether it be on Raw, SmackDown, or even in NXT. Katana Chance and Caden Carter willing to be team players. Tonight, they are looking to start their road back to the promised land. Chelsea Green take it out. Kaden Carter is flying inside and outside the ring. I'll tell you what, this high-risk duo of Chance and Carter may be the team to beat over the overall four teams that are competing this week for an opportunity to win the gold on Saturday night in Minnesota. Oh, that's a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Monday. Chelsea Green with a high knee and follows it up with an insiguri. Kaden Carter just may have her bell rung momentarily or maybe not. Back and forth we start to go as Kaden trying to do her best. Trying to shake off some of these blows by Chelsea Green. She's doing a damn good job. And nearly. Punching their ticket to Saturday night's main event, but Chelsea Green still in this matchup. Again, as we mentioned, the winners of this matchup will meet the winners of SmackDown's qualifier between Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark and Asuka and Io Sky. Those teams, whoever it may be on SmackDown, are going to have less time to recover. It's just 24 hours later, they move on to the targets that are to compete for the gold. And wait a minute! I don't know if Caden Carter put on... The boots are not, was able to stop dead in her tracks, but that corner has been exposed, and there's no running. Chelsea Green sending Caden Carter right into the steel. Green, DeVille, and Piper willing to do what they gotta do. Get their hands dirty if mean necessary to punch their ticket to Saturday Night's main event. Submission hold there by Sonya DeVille, former MMA background. Katana Chance breaking things up. Got a shot by Sonya for her troubles. Caden Carter, however, trying to use that momentary distraction with Katana in the ring to the fullest advantage. And that is some of that high-risk offense. Extremely agile are Katana and Chance. Sonya Deville back in enemy territory here. Caden Carter off the reversal. That was Kaden Carter in enemy territory and Sonya Deville with a cheap shot on Katana. And Kaden may be in trouble as Sonya Deville looking to put the nail in the coffin of this matchup. 
And that's going to do it. Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green on their way to Saturday night's main event. Katana Chance and Kaden Carter going to have to live to fight another day as Green and Deville move one step closer to becoming women's tag team champions. We will find out on SmackDown who moves on to Saturday to challenge this duo for championship gold. But speaking of tag team titles, also coming your way this Saturday night in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the LWO, the WWE Tag Team Champions, will put their gold on the line against Angel and Birdo. Those two teams representing the SmackDown brand and the headliner on Saturday night. Another matchup representing Blue. Chad Gable returns to his hometown of Minneapolis, Minnesota, as he takes on Carmelo Hayes for the red, white, blue, and gold. The United States Championship is on the line live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more Universe than ever before. We're live in Chicago, and the dogs are coming out. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one ball. Introducing first, from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Brock Breaker. All business is Mr. Money in the Bank. Braun Breaker as we take a look back at what happened two weeks ago in London, England on Monday Night Raw. Braun Breaker approaching the squared circle set for action only to be ambushed from, be from behind by the harbinger of doom carrying Cross. Cross has had an issue with Braun Breaker ever since Braun inserted himself in the issues between carrying Cross and Baron Corbin. Braun Breaker laid out two weeks ago in London. And we take a look back at what happened in the month of May. Braun Breaker defeating Baron Corbin in the first round of the King of the Ring. And this is where the issues between Cross and Breaker last. Cross ambushing Baron Corbin after he was already down and out. The badass not gonna stand for it, making the save. And Braun Breaker has had a target on his back by hands of the Harbinger of Doom ever since. Well, nonetheless, Baron Corbin joins Braun Breaker for this tag team. What? what the hell? Oh my God, that's Ankum! Razor! That's the damn authors of pain! Wait, what, what the hell is... Oh my God! The mastermind himself! Paul Ellering! What the hell is going on? What monsters? What hell has Karrion Cross just unleashed on Monday Night Raw? Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity.
Well, as we try to move forward here on Raw, we take a look back last week. Sami Zayn approaching the ring for a matchup against Damian Priest. Ambushed in the aisle way by the other half of the world tag team champions, Finn Balor. It was a momentary victory for the Judgment Day, but a celebration twas not to be. Balor joining Priest in victory, but moments later they were met with the surprise return of Jay and Jimmy, the Usos, two men who have been on the shelf, courtesy of the actions of the Judgment Day. But the surprises did not stop there. Cameras cutting amidst the WWE Universe, where Solo Sokoa had the Intercontinental Champion Dominic Mysterio in his grasp. A brawl that went all throughout the crowd. Dominic Mysterio left laying and looking up at the lights. And then we take things to the top of the stage where the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns met Seth Rollins with an ambush in the backstage area that spilled out to the arena. The bad blood had to be coming. We've said for months that the enemies for the Judgment Day continued to be a mile long and the day was gonna come where things came back to haunt them. Well, as announced earlier this afternoon, it is signed, it is sealed, and it is set to be delivered in less than three weeks' time in Detroit. The Bloodline stands in arms against the Judgment Day and Seth freaking Rollins. It is an eight-man tag team war. What is going to go down? Will vengeance be bestowed? Will the Bloodline stand tall, or will the Judgment Day continue their dominance? It is going to be a war in Ford Field at SummerSlam. But speaking of the Judgment Day, we continue to roll on here in Chicago as Rhea Bloody Ripley approaches the squared circle. Well, Rhea Ripley, of course, retaining her championship back at Money in the Bank against Bailey, And, of course, that was the same night that Cora Jade took down the Money in the Bank briefcase. And as Cora Jade approached this homecoming here in Chicago, the challenge was thrown out over the last week by the WWE champion, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley always won to assert her dominance. And what bigger way to do so than by attempting to spoil the hometown return of Miss Money in the Bank. There's been some bad blood between these two women in the past. Cora Jade, one of the several women that Rhea Ripley had ambushed from behind, stepped up to and stepped over in her quest to win back that women's championship several months ago. I am sure Cora Jade has not forgotten. And Cora Jade obviously not one to back down from a challenge. The championship is not on the line tonight, but Cora Jade finds herself in a very unique situation. If she could somehow defeat Rhea Ripley, she just may have enough time to cash in that briefcase in the moments after. This has certainly become a big fight feel for Cora Jade in her home arena, the Allstate Arena, in her hometown of Chicago, Illinois. One on one with the WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley as the rightful 2024 Women's Money in the Bank ladder match winner. A lot of interesting situations developing in the women's division here on Raw and both of these women holding some power as they approach this contest tonight. Cora Jade, as we mentioned, not one to turn away the challenge. Rhea Ripley looking to assert her dominance and dare I say, bully her way into another impressive performance. But nonetheless, the bell has sounded. Cora Jade not looking to be a stepping stone in Rhea Ripley's legacy. Oh, Cora Jade taking a page out of hometown native CM Punk's book who we will see in your main event momentarily. 
Cora Jade cannot be overzealous tonight as Rhea Ripley also returns to action. Both of these two women successful three weeks ago in the O2 in London. Now back inside the Monday Night Raw ring tonight in Cora's backyard, her hometown of Chicago. Cora looking to make the most of it. And as we mentioned, Cora Jade finds herself in an extremely interesting position tonight. Rhea Ripley threw down the challenge that may come back to haunt her. If Cora Jade can somehow, some way, upset the champion, you gotta believe Cora is gonna believe there might be enough left in the tank to cash in money in the bank. Look at Cora go. She has been a spark plug since the bell has sounded. Rhea Ripley trying to stop her dead in her tracks. Rhea Ripley, oof. Cora Jade, take it out, Rhea. Cora's done her homework. Rhea trying to use her power and some of that agility to her advantage, but Cora Jade familiar with Rhea Ripley's arsenal. It'd be a monstrous upset if Cora can pick up the victory tonight. And as this matchup progresses, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you that each and every Wednesday, it is Velocity. It goes down exclusively on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. To do yourself a favor, you can scan the QR code on your screen right now. Be sure to hit the likes and follow over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. And tune in this Wednesday where Friday Night SmackDown superstars Angel Garza will go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Rey Mysterio. And of course, ahead of the tag team title bout this Saturday night in Minneapolis. Don't miss Velocity each and every Wednesday on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Meanwhile, drawing your attention back inside the All-State Arena, Rhea Ripley. That is going to be a monstrous sight as she crushes Cora Jade at ringside. And now face first. And I believe Cora's face just slid down the LED screen. Man, Cora Jade came out hot in the early moments of this matchup, and within a snap of the fingers, Rhea Ripley turning the tides. Rhea Ripley has proven time and time again to be a different animal. And I'll tell you, Rhea Ripley very familiar with the Money in the Bank briefcase. She was the winner of it last year, went on to cash it in successfully to become champion. And outside of a couple of months bump in the road, thanks to Liv Morgan, she has held the championship damn near ever since. For a Jade. Looking for a huge victory tonight, not just yet. But with Rhea Ripley throwing out this challenge tonight to miss Money in the Bank, trying to assert her dominance. Also could be looking to send a message to Cora Jade that you better not try to cash in that briefcase on me, because if you do, this is how it's going to go. Rhea Ripley... Trying to play an intimidation factor, but Cora Jade will not back down. Double arm DDT. Dead center of the ring on the champion. So close to victory, but not just yet. Chicago, Illinois in appreciation of this women's division action here on Monday Night Raw between two women who hold the power. Rhea Ripley the champion, Cora Jade the Money in the Bank holder. No titles or contracts on the line in this contest. Rhea looking to assert some dominance and play intimidation. Cora Jade looking to take the next step. Rhea Ripley, dare I say, threw out the challenge. This is a must win for the Nightmare. Cora Jade finds a way to win this matchup. There ain't nothing stopping the generation of Jade from being truly born tonight off of Money in the Bank cash in. Cora Jade not looking to return to her hometown of Chicago and falling short at the finish line. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley, however, looking to stomp the heart out of the hometown superstar. This is not these women's first go around inside of the ring, but Rhea Ripley may be looking to make it their last. Frog splash right out of the arsenal of Dirty Dom. And an unfortunate homecoming for Cora Jade as Rhea Ripley plays spoiler. Rhea, oh wait a minute. Bianca Belair in the squared circle. Standing toe to toe with a woman she knows extremely well. Bianca has been chasing that championship throughout the summer. And with number one contendership wide open is the EST throwing down the gauntlet. Business is picking up. 
here on Raw. Let us rewind the clock to three weeks ago in London, England. Die Jack one-on-one -on -one with the megastar, L.A. Knight. This issue brewing for months on Monday Night Raw. Die Jack went into Money in the Bank hoping for a much-needed victory and was willing to do anything he needed to to secure it. Even if that meant a couple of underhanded tactics, exposing the steel. Follow that up with a feast your eyes. L.A. Knight knocked out cold in the 0-2. LA Knight not taking that loss on the chin thanks to the dirty tactics that approached it. Meanwhile, last week, LA Knight looking for a measure of revenge, taking Dijak's eye off the ball in the midst of a battle with big Bronson Reed. Dijak shaking up momentarily, Reed making the most advantage. Hence why what we saw earlier tonight, as LA Knight approached the squared circle for a matchup with AJ Styles, it was Dijak returning the favor and taking out LA Knight's early momentum in that battle. Well, we can confirm that the story between Dijak and LA Knight is far from finished and officially signed on for less than three weeks time in Ford Field. It is gonna be a Detroit street fight as Dijak meets LA Knight in a rematch from Money in the Bank LA Knight looking to settle the score with the man who stole victory three weeks ago. But next week, a chance to build some momentum live on Monday Night Raw as Dijak stands alongside with the men he aided earlier tonight in the OC. LA Knight's going to have to track down a couple of partners for this huge eight-man tag team matchup. And speaking of eight-man tag team matchups, as we approach the war at SummerSlam, the Bloodline Street Champs, Solo Sokoa, is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Solo returning to action for the first time since All-Star Raw. Who's going to gain momentum on the road to the biggest party of the summer? But it is main event time from the Old State Arena. We are live in Chicago, Illinois, and the second city saint has come home with a new piece of hardware known as the WWE Championship. The road to SummerSlam does not get any easier as Punk runs into a colossal opponent here tonight. The last time CM Punk held that championship was from 2011 to 2013. 434 days to be exact. But back on July 13th, CM Punk kicking off a whole new reign at the top of the mountain, accomplishing what he set out to do at the beginning of 2024 when he returned to the WWE hold the richest prize in the industry, become the champion all over again. Will Kevin Owens play spoiler? We find out at SummerSlam, but tonight, the road to the biggest party rolls through Chi-Town 
And although it is a homecoming for the champ, CM Punk runs in to a monstrous opponent looking to kick down the door of opportunity. Forget the analogy of making waves. Bronson Reed has been sending tsunamis throughout Monday Night Raw since his WWE return back in March. And over the last month, Reed has stepped inside the ring with CM Punk on two previous occasions. The first matchup going A-wire thanks to the interference by then champion Kevin Owens. Two weeks ago in London, England, Bronson Reed dominating CM Punk. Punk stealing the victory right out from underneath Big Brunson Reed's nose. Well, credit where credit's due. Punk was a little weary of stepping in the ring with the big man two weeks ago, but when Reed threw out the challenge last week, CM Punk did not hesitate to lace up his boots in his hometown. And the story here for Big Brunson Reed is the pressure is on tonight. You are in enemy territory, Chicago, Illinois. It is like a cult in this building for the current WWE champion CM Punk. Brunson Reed has got to try to block out the noise and recognize the opportunity that is on hand. CM Punk just looks to get going. And I am sure CM Punk has tried to do all the homework he can over the last two weeks in hell throughout the last month. All the while dealing with Kevin Owens and his road to becoming WWE Champion, Brunson Reed has been in his rearview mirror. It is one thing to knock Brunson Reed off his feet. It's a whole other thing to keep him there. Very few blemishes on his record since the month of March as CM Punk is finding out firsthand why. Buckle bomb into the corner. The WWE Champion still into it, but you gotta believe a hell of a lot was taken out of the Second City Saint. Brunson Reed. Huge opportunity tonight in non-title action. A victory over CM Punk. You gotta believe would put Reed at the front of the line for whoever leaves Ford Field in just a couple of weeks holding the WWE title. Nonetheless, CM Punk would like to avoid disaster tonight, but he may not have a choice if Brunson Reed has his way. Going for the kill early with a variation of an air raid crash. And damn near almost had the champion beat in the early moments. Bronson Reed did not come to let this opportunity slip through his fingers tonight, but he's got to be cautious of mistakes like that. He is in the ring with the champion, a veteran of the squared circle. Now, although Bronson Reed is world traveled and has held championships around the globe, CM Punk has not earned the nickname of best in the world for no reason. Sidestepping whatever Brunson Reed was looking for from the top. Could have been a tsunami and he was able to get his knees up. Nonetheless, CM Punk finds Brunson Reed down and off his feet momentarily. And this is where the WWE Champion has got to try to keep the big man. Look back at their previous two encounters. First one at the Great American Bash. Things got taken out to ringside. CM Punk may have been looking for a count out victory. I'll bite. Before Kevin Owens arrives on the scene and calls the disqualification aiding CM Punk technically in victory. And you take it to two weeks ago in London, England, CM Punk little weary about getting in the ring with Brunson Reed until Kevin Owens backed up Reed in the early moments. Reed dominated most of the matchup. Punk really just slipping out of victory in the last second. CM Punk obviously wanting to participate here in Chicago tonight. Brunson Reed wants his opportunity. My goodness. Look out below, Brunson Reed may have just splat crashed the WWE Champion at ringside. Holy hell. Brunson Reed did not come to mince words tonight. He understands he is in enemy territory. He understands this audience is full of CM Punk faithful. But Bronson Reed, former NXT North American Champion, is on Monday Night Raw with a purpose. So it's high risk maneuvers that have really been costing him so far as he tries to come off the top again and CM Punk draws the lucky straw and gets out of the way. CM Punk with his hometown crowd behind him. Knocking Reed off his feet momentarily with the enziguri. 
Now we're talking a lot about the opportunity that Brunson Reed has tonight, but for CM Punk, it's an opportunity to build that much more momentum towards his rematch with Kevin Owens at SummerSlam. We've not seen much out of Kevin Owens over the last few weeks since losing his championship. And Kevin Owens really kept up a busy schedule just in the last month alone before losing the title to CM Punk. Himself was in the ring with Brunson Reed, had defended the title against the big man. Just a few days prior to Money in the Bank, had successfully defended a gold against Finn Balor. Kevin Owens personified what it meant to be in be a fighting champion here on Monday Night Raw. Owens looking to get back his gold as he claims at SummerSlam. And we took a look earlier tonight at what those two men had to say on social media. Hold on, throughout that weekend, hold that thought as Brunson Reed once again crushing CM Punk on the canvas. And look how desperate CM Punk was getting the shoulder off the canvas momentarily. And Brunson Reed offense just takes so much out of you. Double air raid crashes, dropping CM Punk right on his shoulders. Second time in the matchup. And now Punk sees a window of opportunity. Now, as we are mentioning, we saw what CM Punk and Kevin Owens had to say on WWE.com and social media this past weekend. And at the end of the day, both men, no matter their opinions, obviously going to use their words to back their narrative. And they can say whatever they want to one another. Have all the right in the world to feel how they feel. But it all comes down to what happens between the ropes. At Money in the Bank, CM Punk was the better man. Kevin Owens wants the gold back. He's got to be the best in the world come SummerSlam. Off the elbow, CM Punk nearly putting this main event match away. And these two men have been throwing everything at each other with very few breaks in between. Non-stop contest, non-stop action between Big Brunson Reed and the hometown superstar CM Punk. These two men start to know each other's playbooks fairly well, but it does not mean it's going to hurt any less when they dish out maneuvers to one another. Punk trying to get the momentum coming out of the corner there, but Brunson Reed using his size and strength to get out from under the legs of the best in the world. Punk creating a little bit of distance that time. Brunson Reed might have had the wind knocked out of him. CM Punk inside cradle, similar to how the match ended two weeks ago. Lightning strikes twice. CM Punk finding a way to survive. Big Brunson Reed and Oh wow, look at CM Punk extending the hand and Reed gonna accept it. Well, who says CM Punk doesn't have any respect? He just may not have respect for Kevin Owens. Regardless of that situation. Oh, hold on now. Kevin Owens is here in Chicago doing what CM Punk did on the road to Money in the Bank. Getting under the skin of the champion trying to spoil his hometown celebration and get into the mind of the WWE Champion. No matter the mind games, no matter the words that have been said, it all comes down to what happens between the bells. Saturday night, August 17th in Ford Field, when Kevin Owens clashes with CM Punk once more for the WWE Championship.